Ron Shelton had never directed a movie before, but he had done second unit on a film for a friend of mine, and that second unit directing work was terrific. And so I suggested to Ron as the script matured that he direct this thing, which he readily agreed to do. Now I have a small movie with a first-time director, challenging to get the actors I want, but the script was terrific. The first and most important thing to do was find Crash Davis. Kevin Costner had done a television movie with me, and I liked Kevin and gave the script to him. It was not Ron's first choice, but it was mine, and Kevin loved it, and we signed Kevin. Kevin was not yet a movie star, although he was on the cusp of becoming a movie star. The second choice, Susan Sarandon. I didn't give the script to her. I never thought of her for the role. Her agent, a woman at ICM in Los Angeles, sent it to her. At that time, Susan was living in Italy. She called me from Italy and said, have you cast that part? No. She said, I'll be there tomorrow. I'm getting on a plane on my own dime. Don't cast it. I said to Ron and our casting director, Bonnie Timmerman, Susan's coming in tomorrow. She'll come straight from the airport. She wants to read for this. Everybody thought, ah, oh, we don't know. Susan showed up, walked in the room, read the part. Debate was over three minutes later. Susan Sarandon was Annie Savoy. And more important than that, you could see from the level of energy and commitment and the kind of forward combination of intellectual prowess and sex appeal that that role would dominate the movie. Bonnie Timmerman, our casting director, found Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins had been in a number of movies, but never in anything like a starring role. I looked out the window of my office in Burbank one day, and there was a tall, goofy kid trying to play baseball in the grass. What is that? It's Tim Robbins. He's going to be Nuke Lelouch. And he was, and he was a great nuke. 